cope or hope. Coming up next on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. It's our newest mug. One of the Metal Dude mugs from our comic strip, and it says, I have OCD, Obsessive Coffee Disorder. How's that? You need this mug to have some headbangers brew in, you know the drill, ground, whole bean, decaf, K-cups, five-pound bags. I know. We got it all. Everything that you see here and a lot more, we are metalwearefamily.com. <clears throat> well, here's the question for today. Dear Pastor Bob, how do you stay positive? I see the world in a catastrophic decline, and it is difficult to stay upbeat. How do you cope with such negative things? Good question. And I want to turn right away to some great scripture found in Romans chapter 15 and verse 13. And once again today, I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. And if you're new to this podcast, the Amplified Bible takes the original languages, Greek, Hebrew, first nine chapters of Daniel are written in Aramaic, but it takes all of the original languages and it uses as many words as necessary to describe what it sang. So it's a little wordy. It's for study more than just pleasure reading. Fantastic translation. And so that's what we use almost every day on this podcast to really explain what the scripture means. Romans fifteen thirteen, may the God of your hope. I love this word because hope is what we need. If we have something to hold on to, we have it made. And hope is what we can hold on to. So may the God of your hope so fill you with all joy and peace. <clears throat> you know, that's the fruit of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit inside from your innermost being, giving you love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, etc. So my hope is based on, not the world, but on what God is giving me for my innermost being. And may the God of your hope so fill you with all joy and peace in believing through your experience of your faith, you see, it's connecting to God and the experience that you have with him in faith that he gives to you, that by the power of the Holy Spirit within, you may abound and be overflowing, bubbling over with hope. Well, you see, hope isn't dependent on everything that I see out there. Hope depends on the Holy Spirit. It's an inner working of God. And so when I have hope, it doesn't ever come from the world. That is so fleeting. One minute, things are going well. The next minute, catastrophe. In the world, the Bible says you won't find any peace. But in me, you'll always find peace, he says. So this is what he's talking about. This is the peace in the middle of the storm that the Bible talks about. No matter what's going on, we have this inside. And I'm not just coping, looking at everything and trying to get through. I'm not just waking up every day and saying, oh no, it's another horrible day. I'm just going to have to cope with it. Now, he says, I want you to be more proactive than that. Let me read it to you again, and this is for you. May the God of your hope, 
so fill you with joy and peace in believing through the experience of your faith that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound and be overflowing, bubbling over with hope. So don't just cope, hope. <laughs> well, folks, don't forget you are blessed. So go and be a blessing.